What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 7 of the 8th grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. We can see that we're just being asked to find which of our answers, A and then B, C, and D are off screen, match the graph of the linear equation y equals negative x. Now, I used linear equation and function interchangeably for the most part. I know it's not always correct, but I find it easier to just stick with one word most of the time. And so we're going to have to go from that function language of the y equals negative x to using a table to find some points that we can plot to actually looking for those points on a graph. The way we're going to use a table is I'm going to make this quick little chart of x values and y values. I'm going to pick some x values and go ahead and figure out what y should end up being. So let's just do what I think are a good starting point of 5x values to get us going. Negative 3, negative 1, 0, 1, and 3. And I'll start with my positive x values. I wrote these in order as I would find them on a number line to make them easier to graph. But if I start with my positive x values, and I know that y equals negative x, then I know that across from 1, y is going to have to equal negative 1. I look down at x equals 3, and I know y is going to have to equal negative 3. I come up to 0, and there's not really a negative 0, so I'll just call that 0. Now when I get to my negative x values, y is going to have to be negative, negative 1. And um, by rules of integers, two negatives are going to cancel and become positive. So negative 1 of x maps to 1 for y. And negative 3 of x, using the same idea of negative, negative 3 becoming positive 3, maps just to 3. So essentially, except for 0, we've got every x and y just having a different sign. If x is positive, y is negative. If x is negative, y is positive. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually test this uh, compared to each of our answer choices. So for choice A, I see the point 0, 0, and that's good. Um, I look for the point negative 1, positive 1, because x tells us how far left and right we're going. y tells us how far up or down we're going. x of negative 1 means left 1. y of positive 1 means up 1. Negative 1, positive 1 puts us here, and that's not on our line. I will go ahead and graph the others just in this case so we can know what we're looking for. So now an x of negative 3 means I go left 3. y of positive 3 means I go up 3. Left 2, 3, up 2, 3. That should put me there. x of 1, that means I go right. y of negative 1, that means I go down. 1, negative 1, that's where I should be. x of 3, right 3. y of negative 3, down 3. So right 2, 3, down 2, 3 puts me here. Now I do recognize that these look like they're forming a line. And that's one good way to know that I've went ahead and actually found my x and y values correctly. Um, but this isn't the graph that I'm looking for. And as I scooch this out, choice B doesn't look like the graph I'm looking for either. In fact, you don't even have to see the entire answer choice to see that the point 0, 0 is not on this line. So even the easiest point to test doesn't end up being on the line. So we know that choice B is out. We already knocked out choice A. And now you're going to see the magic of editing happen as I put this onto the next page. So it looks like both choice C and choice D are kind of have that uh, top left to bottom right type line that we're looking for. But let's go ahead and test out our points anyway. So for choice C, 3 left and 3 up. Left 2, 3, up 2, 3. Okay, this one's on our line. That's a good sign. Left 1, up 1, left and up. 0, 0 is just right there. Okay, we're still on the line at this point. That's good. Right 1, down 1. Right down puts me here. Right 3 and down 3. Right 2, 3, down 2, 3. Okay, all five of these points are on the line. I'm going to go ahead and make sure it can't be choice D before I call it that, it's, that our answer is C. So choice D... Once again, unfortunately, even testing out 0, 0, the easiest point to test and find, isn't on the line. 0, 0 is not on the line, therefore it can't be choice D. So our only answer left is the answer where all of our points ended up on this line, and that's choice C. Okay. 